What up? It's your boy, the Incredible Man. And yes, I am back at it again. And this is Tony Kakukawai, episode nine. And last week, we got to meet NASA's family, which was fun and wonderful. And we got to see his father thanking Sukasa for saving him. But then I had some questions arise in last week's episode about some stuff that Sukasa said and done throughout the episode. And like, how does she know this if she's not a big fan of history? And then someone told me about the sci-fi aspect of the episode. Then I went back and looked at it and kind of reminisced about some of the other episodes and thought about some of, some of the stuff that Sukasa said. And thank you guys for pointing that out. You guys made me really do a deep dive and kind of think about some of the stuff that said. So now I'm going into episode nine with a fresh set of eyes because I got my love story over here on this side. I got the sci-fi over here in full view because now my eyes are completely open to the sci-fi aspect. So now I'm going into this mind blown and cannot wait to explain some of the stuff that's trickling over here on the sideline while we're dealing with all the lovey-dovey stuff. But it was actually a really nice episode because we got to see Tsukasa and NASA on like a mini honeymoon. And actually, let's be real, like for the first time, it felt like a real date for our main characters. So let's check out episode nine, man. I don't think I do it good, no, I think I do it great They would do it if they could, they can't do it, so they hate Everybody wanna look, but nobody wanna play Stealing eyes <laughs> I forgot about the house burning down <laughs> The fact that he didn't even care about his house. He went in straight and asked the landlord, is he okay? Oh, their plant that they got for being married. Dude. Oh, wow. Dude. A lightning strike. Oh, wow. This is the perfect time to get the house. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> wow. That's actually really smart. Wow. Man, it's just things, and they weren't important things either. Yes! Episode 9, Daily Life. A love hotel. <laughs> right, it is. It's a normal thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> so she started having dirty thoughts. That's what, that's what I was here. Could he stay with y'all? 
You're right. I mean, that'd be the logical explanation. You know what? That could come from him helping people and being a good person to where people are willing to just go out of their way to actually help him. I love that we're getting these little tidbits of how Sukasa actually feels about NASA. No, it's because of the person that you are, man. Right. He's just one of them type of people, man. Wow. That's nice, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, he has a rain, it shined and everything, it sparkled. You didn't see the rain? Is she going to get the hint? Is she going to catch her own? Uh. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> Look at her sister. <laughs> this is a horrible movie level. <laughs> Right. Did she catch it? Did she catch it? Mom just straight busted her out.
Oh, uh, we getting a flashback. Her mama cut the flashback in half. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dude, this is epic. Right, she's got a point. You have to tell people. Right, you have to tell him. He didn't know. That's sad, man. But that's life. That's very mature of her, man. I am pipe. <laughs> No, her underwear crazy. Oh, he just thought about it. <laughs> oh, they're so fidgety, man. It's so it's so cute. Wow. Don't, don't go through the laundry. Don't go through the laundry. Then the music, why they play like the sexual, sexual music? <laughs> the, the sister's there, she's there. <laughs> don't smell it, don't smell it, don't smell it. <laughs> of a monologue oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh <sighs> now I can't make any moves <laughs> oh my gosh
Oh, wow. <laughs> you should have told him. You should have told him. <laughs> Why would you shout that out? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, wow. Shock. Yeah, yeah. So I never really paid attention to that either. Then he wears the same sweatshirt the entire time. Wow. I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting like a sweatshirt or something like that from a department store, but you should like actually go to a clothing store eventually. It does, it does. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. The thought of another guy seeing so much of you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> did she feel did she, did she feel
Man, I just love their relationship, man. It's so fun. You want to see them? Wow. I was just going to ignore that. Is <laughs> Okay, we're just going to skip over that part. Okay, man. That was Tony Kaku Kawaii episode 9, man. And sure, it didn't have anything um, to do with, like, some of the situations and stuff that we dealt with of, like, the sci-fi nature. And I'm totally okay with that because this episode this week was hilarious. And these last couple episodes, they had some comedy in it. But this week's episode brought... All of the laughs and all of the stops, they were on it this week, man. I couldn't stop laughing. I was, it was absolutely hilarious, this episode, but it was just a nice connection in kind of a break between Sukasa and NASA, kind of um trying to just get back into each other's presence. I mean, like we had some exploration going on with the story and everything. And this episode was just like a nice, calm episode where they had to find somewhere to live and they got to kind of deal with each other about actually being husband and wife again and i feel like we kind of get like a lot of that throughout the series a couple episodes we'll get um them actually being husband and wife dealing with some stuff and some consequences then we get back to the sci-fi aspect of it and then we just kind of deal with life in general and i'm totally okay with that because it breaks it down into certain aspects and then we get some comedy so it's overall it's handled it very nicely with each and every episode and i love episodes like this where we're just strictly comedy but it progresses the story along as well because we see them dealing with like everyday life situations about washing laundry finding somewhere to stay and Sukasa telling nasa that i have to wash my underwear and nasa being like well oh wow i can't wait to see her in her underwear so it's it's real life stuff what we're dealing with but they threw in a whole bunch of comedy to keep the pace going and to keep you attached to it as well but i'm totally fine either way man i just love the series as a whole this should be incredible don't forget to smash the like button till you can't smash it anymore comment down below and i'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe but only if you really want to man and remember that anime matters anime is greatness and anime is life man peace out